part two of your limiting reagents problem. This is the extension to what you can find out as soon as you know what your limit is. In your case, for you guys, you're going to want to find out the following. You're going to want to find out um, what mass of CO2 is produced, and you're going to want to find out what mass of excess reactant remains after the reaction. Okay, so um, the very first thing you need to realize is that you need to have your limit identified because if you don't have your limit identified, you know, won't know what your given is. Your given for this type of problem is always going to be what your limit is. So in the problem, in the very first problem, we found out that our limit or our limiting reactant was O2. So therefore, our given for this next question, which is the extension of it, the what is the mass of CO2 produced, our given is going to be 52 grams of O2. So that's what you're going to put in your first box. And it's going to also be a mass to mass problem. So 52 grams of O2. Okay, so the steps are going to be the same. It's going to be molar mass, ratio, molar mass. Okay, remember that we're trying to find the mass of CO2. So I need to make sure that this diagonally cancels. Okay, and we already know what the mass of O2 is. We know that it's 32, and then again, we need to realize that with molar mass, we always have one mole of that same substance, so it's one mole of O2. This allows us to cancel grams of O2 with grams of O2. For our ratio step, remember that it's going to be moles and moles. Now, keep in mind that this has to be diagonally, so it has to be moles of O2, and right on top is going to be what they're asking us to find. So in that particular question, um, which we're addressing, it says, what is the mass of CO2? Therefore, for the ratio step, we need to have the moles of, o of CO2. Okay, so looking back at our balanced equation, we're going to get our ratio from the coefficients. So CO2 has a 1, so this 1 is going to go right in front, and O2 has a 2, so that goes here. Okay, once again, we can cancel like terms. Okay, the last step is a molar mass step. So again, this has to cancel diagonally. This has to be one mole of CO2. And right on top is going to be the molar mass of CO2. Okay, so the molar mass of CO2 is 44.01, as you can see the calculation. Go ahead and place a molar mass up here. So 44.01 grams of CO2. As before, you're going to go ahead and multiply the top numbers multiply all the bottom numbers across and then the top answer divided by the bottom answer. Okay, and then you're not going to forget to go ahead and cancel the moles of CO2 and you're left with 35.76 grams of CO2 as your answer. Okay, bye! For the last of the problems, we need to find out how much of the excess reactant remains. Okay, so first of all, which one was your excess? We found out from this information that our excess had to have been CH4 because, as you could see, we have 90 and we need 13.04, so we have more than what we need. And to figure out the excess, you're, again, using that information. So, therefore, remember we had 90 grams of CH4. You subtract it from what we need, which is 13.04. Okay, so once you subtract you know that you have 76.96 grams of CH4 left over. And that answers pretty much that part of the question. And you can also have seen it here from 90 minus 13.04. Just writing this information again there. And that is all.